I'm Josh Light with PaulTicket.com and here in Little Rock, Arkansas with Gene Jeffers. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. Good to have you guys in Arkansas. Well, thank you very much. So tell us, what's the big difference between you and your competitors in this race? Well, I'm an, I'm an Arkansas born, raised, lived here all my life uh, and, and uh, raised a family here. My opponent was born here and graduated from high school and left for Harvard and I hadn't been back until the election. And what, what issues are you concerned about in this race? We've got to make America work. My gosh, you know, the people here in Arkansas and everywhere I go are, are tired of all the, the problems that, that confront us in D.C. They want to make America work, whether it's whether it's for jobs or for education, whatever the situation is, we've, we've got to stop the, the turmoil that's going on in, a, in D.C. Uh, it's not about political parties, it's about America. These people out here in Arkansas want us to work for them, not for a political party. And how do we get, how do we get America back working again? How do we what? How do we get America back working again? Hey, we've got to elect some people with some common sense and some Arkansas values. What about this deficit we're facing? How do we solve that? The deficit that we're facing, uh, well, you know, here in Arkansas, you, you just ask a great question. You set me up great as a state legislator here. Arkansas is one of the three or four states that's balanced its budget over, the, over this tough turmoil time that America's seen. You know how we do it? We use it common sense. We, we don't spend more than we can take in. And America's got to do the same thing. It's very, it's very simple. And what issues, social issues, are people of Arkansas concerned about in this election? Probably the same as you'd find across the country. We're, we're, we're very conservative people. I'm a, I'm a Baptist minister of music myself. Uh, uh, you know, the, the Second Amendment rights is imported in a, in a rural state where we deer hunt and, uh, quite a bit. I've got a hunting license in my pocket. Uh, you know, it, people want to, want to know if you're, if what you think about Second Amendment rights. You know, it's not a campaign slogan for me. It's a way of life. And have you gone deer hunting this year? It, it will start shortly, and, <laughs> and, but I am working on a deer stand as we speak, or, or my folks are right now back home. So how are you using social media in this campaign? Well, wherever wherever we can, we're, we're I'm learning a lot about it. And I have a, my youngest son is a, is a computer information technology graduate and uses it in his job at, uh, in Camden in our hometown. Uh, helping me a lot, but yet uh, it's it's new to me. It's a new world for me. But we're we're gradually getting more and more involved. So how are you using social media in this campaign? Man, that's, a, that's almost a new term for me, but, but we're gradually wrapping up here. I have a son that's a, that's a uh, graduate, and he, his major was uh, information technology, and uh, he's helped quite a bit in, in the election. But, but we're, we're out there, and, and we're learning quite a bit. We're learning quite a bit. Do you find your constituents communicate with you through social networks? They do. Uh, not as much, probably, as they do the traditional ways. Telephone, uh, especially, is still very, very useful. But in Arkansas, there's a lot of skips in cell phone service, so you know we're we're out there trying to trying to communicate, however, whenever we can. So, what's your position on the war in Afghanistan? Well, war is always tough, and I've seen. I well, first of all, I support our military a hundred percent, and always have, always will. Uh, We've got to be careful where we're at and why we're at in certain places. You know, I think we're to a time where I'll always support my military in their efforts, but we, it's time for some peacemakers in this world as well, and, and uh, I, want, I want to be one of those as well. We need to, we need to be serious about uh, being a peacemaker again, and America needs to be looked up in that direction, I think. And how is your campaign going right now? Oh, we're thinking we're doing great. Uh, hey, I've got 33 counties. It's ha basically half the land size of Arkansas, basically rural. Uh, I've put, uh, in, during the Democratic primary, I put 51,000 miles on my little car, and, and I'm started over right now. And uh, was out till about midnight last night and got out this morning, fixing to stay out about that late again over the district. It's a huge district for the state of Arkansas, and I know some bigger states have some. Uh, larger districts, but for Arkansas, this is quite large. 
how's your fundraising going? Fundraising is, has been pretty pretty lean, but you know what? Uh, people want to see you out working. I put my own signs up, uh, quite a few of them. My kids have also helped, my family's also helped. Uh, we're, you know, the media so often thinks that a, that a campaign is about fundraising, but it's not. That's got to be part of it. But you also got to be seen out there and people want to see what you're doing and hear from you. We're going to be outspent probably 200 to 1, but when we win, well, what a great, great rejoicing that is. And we've already done that in the Democratic primary. We were outspent several, several times. On Democratic primary for this district, I spent $28,000 and won. Wow. And uh, my, my opponent now has already raised over $2 million. I think we're sitting there with about that 28000 again, and uh, man. Is he going to be excited at the end of this race? Where can where can voters go out to learn more about you? We're we're on the web at www.jeanjeffersforcongress.com. Uh, well, and, and 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 and, and just <laughs> just uh, uh, hey, I give people my home phone numbers and cell numbers. Give me a call. I'm a regular guy here in Arkansas, and uh, we we just want to be accessible, and uh, we're being seen out there. If you see that little red car with my blue sign come by, stop me. I guarantee you, we'll stop and talk with you. Well, thanks for stopping and talking with us today. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you so much.